going to use this enterprise scale for AVS GitHub repository. It has networking architecture and reference implementations to help get you started. You can see AVS landing zone. That's if you're getting started from fresh and you want to make sure everything is sorted to best practices. There's also brownfield deployment where you already have an AVS environment and maybe you want to add on to that with items such as networking, monitoring, and so forth. So I'm going to go down to brownfield deployment because I already have Azure VMware solution up and running and I wanted to add some monitoring to this. And here you can see the options for brownfield deployment. Now I'm going to go down to the monitoring. And here you can see the deploy to Azure tab. And you have to sign into your portal. And here you can see the custom deployment template that's going to deploy to my environment. My resource group will be my existing one with AVS in it. I defaulted to the region where my solution is deployed. The action group name is AVS Alerts, which is fine with me. And here I'm going to put in my group email in quotation marks, which obviously you would want that to be a group email because you want multiple people alerted if something happens. And private cloud resource ID. That I have to go into my portal, go to my private cloud, and to the right you'll see JSON view. Click on that, and then we can copy this resource ID to the clipboard. Go back and paste that in. View and create. And it's just going to validate. It's setting up four alerts for me. One on CPU, memory utilization, and storage utilization. All right, looks like our alerts are set up. We can go to our resource group, done alerts. And we created four alert rules. Here, let's make them all show up. And you can see if we hit 80% on CPU usage, we'll get a warning email. If we get 80% usage on memory, again, we'll get a warning email. And 70% disk space is a warning. And the critical alert for storage is set to 75% because as you know, vSAN has that 25% recommendation for free space to perform optimally. So let's go back to the GitHub repository. So enabled our four alert groups. Now we're gonna create an action group for service health. Make sure to select the same resource group your AVS environment is in. Again, it picks the region for you. You're gonna type in your action group email, this time no quotations. And I still have my private cloud resource ID in my clipboard. Okay, we're finished. Now we can go to service health and see our action group that was created. CVS health, service health. So I will get an email now, something happens in my region and I'll be notified. Let's go back to the GitHub repository. Now let's create a dashboard. You can name it something different here, but AVS dashboard works for me. Private cloud resource ID I still have. And at the moment, I don't have an express route connection resource ID, so I don't need to fill that out. View and create. All right, we're complete. Let's go to the resource group. Actually, we can go to shared dashboards. It'll show us all of our shared dashboards. We just created AVS dashboard. So here's our newly created dashboard. We have percentage CPU by cluster name. Percentage data store disk used by data store and average memory usage by our cluster. This is fully customizable. You can change the auto refresh rate. You can go every five minutes. We can change the time setting. So the time range could be the past 30 minutes for more granularity. And you can also click the edit button and add any additional metrics you might be interested in seeing or sharing with your team. And that's another good use case for a shared dashboard. You can now share it out to maybe you have a VMware engineering team or a specific AVS team that needs to look at these metrics at quickly at a glance. So this was all done through the Azure GitHub repository and feel free to check it out. You can actually put in issues or anything. If you want to see more content, feel free to submit it and have fun playing in your development environment. Thanks.